So today we're going to work with a piece of scrap material. Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in this week for the Southern Scribbles Guide Through Owning a Glowforge. Today we're going to talk about something that I ignored for absolutely several months when I should not have ignored it. Everybody on the forum says not to ignore this. And yet I did for some reason, and I regretted it after I found the error of my ways, and that is the honeycomb pen. These little guys. It is the easiest thing in the world to do, and today we're going to make them. I'm going to show you how to do it, where to find the file, and also how I personally do them, because I think that it is important to have your material secured properly when you are cutting. It helps with the depth of cut, make sure if there's any bows in the wood or bends in the wood that um, that's flattened out on the crumb tray so that the distance from the laser to the material is the same all the way through, helps with a better cut, uh, make sure everything works exactly the way it's supposed to. To make our honeycomb pins, we are going to use up scrap material, as you can see here. I got this material, it's acrylic from the Glowforge shop, and we are going to take the remaining outside edge pieces and make several of these honeycomb pins, and it is going to allow us to utilize what would have otherwise been thrown away. So this is a good use of extra material that you might have. You could use acrylic, you can also use wood to do the same thing. So if you have extra little pieces laying around, feel free to use them. It cuts the exact same, just put it in the proper settings for your material, and let's go. All right, I am on the community page for the Glowforge forum, and I simply logged in and searched for honeycomb pins, and this is where it led me to. And as you can see, the, the owner's comment here is saying, hey, the best results are gonna be achieved by flat non-warping material. The way that you can help that is to get these pins and put them around the corners of your material so it holds it down nice and flat. There may still be a little bit, but overall it's gonna get you much better consistent results. So as you're looking here, you see this, this pin that's inside of the crumb tray, and it says keep calm, forge on. It's just a little extra thing that, that is kind of cool, I think. But uh, they also made this out of, it looks like, MBF or draft board, I'm not sure. But where I'm just going to make mine out of the leftover acrylic because I like the clear part of it, and I think it, I think it just looks cool. So now we're gonna move on over to the actual app. I'm gonna pause here for a second and get everything turned on and I will get it all set up and show you how we're gonna run this. Okay, I've got my Glowforge turned on, my material all set in. Uh, if you notice down here, you can actually see the pins that are holding down the material. And I have added in the Glowforge or the honeycomb pins. And now I'm just gonna move it to a section where I can go ahead and cut these out. I have already lined these up because I've made these before, uh, but essentially all I did was just put them in a line and ran it. Notice that they're still red. It's a problem only because the material itself hasn't been selected yet. And so if you notice, I've got tons of room here. Look at that. Really, I find that I don't need to make a ton of these at a time. Like 10 is fine to, for me. And also, one of the things that I find most often is that I am often afraid to uh, use like the really edge of the board or to uh, get things really close because I just feel like they're gonna cut over each other. But it, you can actually get pretty close on these materials. It's something that I struggle with. So. This is why I love that that uh, QR code here at the bottom is because this is not thick acrylic. This is medium acrylic. And I don't know why it didn't show up. Maybe because I can't spell very well. But anyway, it's medium acrylic. Okay, so now we've got this. I always, I learned it at early early Glowforge age to do a set focus over where I'm going to be cutting. So I do this here to make sure that it is technically supposed to do that. You can hear it in the background. The You can hear this in the background, the, the Glowforge is actually doing its thing. Um, but we are going to 
Okay, so notice that it readjusted just a little bit. That's okay. I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to just move it just a little bit. And I will zoom in. See, I think I'm a little bit close there. I may just go ahead and delete that one in particular. Um, yeah, I'll probably just go ahead and, and just delete this one. It's just a little too close for comfort for me. I don't, it's not that big of a deal to delete. So just delete that one. Like I said, these are extras using material that was going to get thrown away anyway. So you could place these anywhere you want on the material and just go to town. All right, now let's cut. All right, so I am 14 minutes in and I have nine new honeycomb clips and I could have reduced that amount of time significantly had I simply just removed the wording and so, engraving always takes the longest amount of time, but I like the little added detail on the clip. Again, 100% not necessary, no functional value to it, but I like the detail. So I keep it and I don't mind the machine time. If you want to reduce that down, simply remove the wording uh, the engraving words on the clip, and that should bring you back down to about two minutes, maybe three minutes to cut. So it should significantly reduce that amount of time. Uh, outside of that, use your clips, use a bunch of them, use as many as you absolutely need. Anything you need to do to make sure that that surface is nice and flat is gonna help you get a much more consistent, better cut across your material. So uh, with that being said, please like and subscribe if you have not already, and also hit that little notification button down at the bottom it helps us out a lot, and also you will get notified every time we post new content. Thank you, and happy glow forging.